Hola clase, ¿cómo están? En esta presentación voy a hablar sobre los pronombres de objeto directo en español. So in this presentation we're going to be talking about direct object pronouns in Spanish. Let's begin. So let's start by defining pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns replace nouns in a sentence and we use pronouns to avoid repetition. Direct object pronouns replace direct object nouns in sentences. Direct objects receive the action of the verb in a sentence. So to find the direct object in a sentence, you have to ask yourself who or what is receiving the action of the verb. For example, we have a sentence here in English, Maria reads a book. So the subject of the sentence, the person or the thing doing the action is Maria. Okay, that's the subject and that's color coded in blue. The verb of the sentence is uh, to read or reads, okay, so Maria reads. And finally, the direct object of the sentence is a book. How do I know that this is the direct object? Because uh, we take the verb to read and we ask what or who in relation to the verb or what or who receives the action of the verb. So the verb is to read, what is being read? A book. That's how we find the direct object of the sentence. Now we're going to take this direct object and replace it with a direct object pronoun. That's what we're doing here. So once we find that direct object, again, we're going to replace it with a direct object pronoun. And in English, that would be it. So it is replacing a book. Maria reads it. Okay, so Maria is the subject, reads is the verb. The direct object pronoun now uh, is it. So the direct object pronouns in Spanish are as follows. We have me, te, lo, la, nos, os, los, and las. So if there's only one verb in the sentence, the direct object pronoun always goes before the conjugated verb. For example, if I say in Spanish, Maria lee un libro, I would replace un libro with the direct object pronoun. In this case, it would be lo, because it's singular and masculine, and I would put it before the conjugated verb. So, Maria lee un libro, Maria reads a book. If we, if we wanted to replace a book with a direct object pronoun, we would say Maria lo lee, and that would be Maria reads it. It's quite literally though, Maria it, she reads. So if there are two verbs in the sentence, the direct object pronoun can either be placed before the conjugated verb, like we saw in the previous example, or we can add it to the end of the second verb that's, conjugate, that's not conjugated, that's in the infinitive. For example, Maria quiere leer un libro would be Maria wants to read. So here we have two verbs in the same sentence, right? The first one is conjugated, the second one is left in the infinitive. Maria wants to read a book would be the full sentence. So again, the verb is to want to read. Um, what is she wanting to read? She's wanting to read a book. So that's our direct object of the sentence. So we're going to take this, the direct object, and replace it with a direct object pronoun. And since it's masculine and singular, our direct object pronoun is going to be lo. Okay? So we have two options. We can put that before the conjugated verb. We can say Maria lo quiere leer, and that would be Maria wants to read it. Or we can say Maria quiere leerlo, and again that would just mean Maria wants to read it, it referring back to the book, right, a libro. Um, so these are totally interchangeable, it doesn't really matter where you place it, both are correct. So to figure out which direct object pronoun to use, that sometimes is the hardest part. So let's take a look. So when we're talking about uh, nouns, so things, places, animals, uh, we're going to use lo if the noun is singular and masculine, we're going to use la if the noun is singular and feminine, we're going to use los if it's plural and masculine, and we're going to use las if it's plural and feminine. With people uh, or pronouns, we're going to either use me, me would be me, right? We're going to use te, and that would be for you. If it's him, her, or you formal, the usted, we would use lo or la, depending on if it's a guy or a girl. Okay? If it's us, it would be nos. If it's you all in Spain, if you're using vosotros, it would be os. And finally, if we're talking about you all, that would be like the ustedes or ellos, right, or them, we would say los or las. So let's take a look at some examples. So in this example, uh, we see that Juan compra la revista, and that translates to Juan buys the magazine. Okay, so the verb is to buy. What is being bought? The magazine, la revista. So in this case, the direct object is singular and it's feminine, it's la revista. That means that we need to replace the direct object with a pronoun that's also singular and feminine, and that's going to be la. So it's going to be Juan la compra. And again, we put that 
direct object pronoun before the conjugated verb in Spanish. Okay? In English, it goes after the verb, right? In English, we say Juan buys it, but in Spanish, it's literally Juan, it, he buys, or Juan buys it. Muy bien. So what happens if we change that to a plural direct object? So now we have Juan compra unas revistas, and that translates to Juan buys some magazines. So now we have more than one. So the direct object of this sentence is no longer singular. Now it's plural, but it's still feminine. So that means that our direct object pronoun has to be feminine, and it has to be plural. So the only one it can be is las, right? So that would be Juan las compra, and that translates to Juan buys them, or quite literally, Juan, them, he buys. Okay? Muy bien. Andrea da un regalo. This translates to Andrea gives a gift. Okay? So the direct object of this sentence is a gift. It's masculine and it's singular. Okay? And it doesn't matter if there's the direct, um, excuse me, the uh, definite or indefinite article here. It could be el regalo or un regalo. It doesn't matter. Uh, the direct object of the sentence itself is masculine and it's singular, so that means that I have to use the masculine and singular direct object pronoun, and that's low. And again, there's only one verb in the sentence, so it has to go before that verb, that conjugated verb. So Andrea da un regalo means Andrea gives a gift, and if we use a, a direct object pronoun, it would be Andrea lo da, and that would be Andrea gives it. If we make that plural now, we have Andrea da los regalos. So this would be Andrea gives the gifts. The gifts, um, in this case, are the direct, object, uh, the direct object of the sentence, right? It's plural, it's masculine, so that means we have to use los. Okay, so it's going to be Andrea los da. And that would translate to Andrea gives them. Them referring back to the book, um, to the gifts. Pamela te llama would be Pamela calls you. So now we're seeing direct object pronouns um, referring to people, right? And this would translate to Pamela calls you, okay? Um, notice in English we put the direct object pronoun after the verb, okay? But in Spanish the direct object pronoun, if there's only one verb in the sentence, goes before the verb. Carlos nos quiere. This translates to Carlos loves us, okay? Carlos loves us. Carlos nos quiere. Muy bien. Patty la abraza. Patty hugs her. So the la here is, is uh, singular and it's feminine. So it's um, a female person, right? Patty la abraza. Patty hugs her. Muy bien. Okay, eso es todo. Muchas gracias, clase, y hasta la próxima.